Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of IGTV with me. This is show number 16, and today we're talking about Blogging 101. Blogging 101, I wrote an article about. Uh, it'll be published out everywhere later on today. I will also include the IGTV video where I make commentary about the article. Uh, today in the article, mostly what I am going over are just the basic concepts of what you need to know when you're going to blog. There's a lot of things that if you don't, if you don't have your mindset right or you don't have your objectives right, your blogging will be, end up being a huge waste of time. Uh, Always blogging is useful because you are sharing content you are putting out um, as a business. So no matter if your blogs are good or bad, they are useful. But if you're going to take the time and effort to blog, you might as well do it in a way that will be most effective for you. Now, I am uh, a publisher. I have Ecom Tips publication on Medium. I have WhatsApp. That's a Z. What's up today .com, what's up today .com on WordPress, writers that inspire, writers that inspire .com on WordPress. Uh, those are my main primary blogging sites. You can also see blogs, but they're basically blogs from elsewhere that I've copied, uh, my own blogs, of course. Uh, at uh, my Shopify store, I have blogs in the bottom of it. You can also see the blogs at different blogs, but mostly the same, at keywebco.biz. Keywebco.biz, you might want to check that out, but it's actually rather cool, sort of. Um, it has a landing page for my Ecom Tips publication, and all my blogs are kind of fed there, and uh, I have some cute little apps and stuff that are in there that you might be interested in. That's at keywebco.biz. But that's enough about my blogs. Uh, basically, the article today is it's actually pretty good. Um, I Some of my articles are better than others. This one's pretty good because of most of the information I derived from uh, PDF files, uh, which I've included in the blog, and uh, articles that I've read over time. I Yes, I am a publisher, and yes, I do write. I write a lot. Um, I'm okay. I'm also very honest. I'm an okay blogger. There are much better bloggers, people that write better. Um, I'm very, very good at getting you the information you need. My writing style is mm, amateurish at best uh, compared to actual real authors. I'm better than the average blogger, but I'm not as good as a full-time makes their living professional blogger in my writing style. Now, my visualizations, my content, everything else is far beyond what most people do. It's excessive, it's very good. But my actual writing skills are, are average at best. So I make up for my average writing skills with my good added content. If you notice, uh, go look at any of my blogs. Uh, you're going to notice that there's always PDF files. There's always additional references. There's always a YouTube video, even if it's not one of mine. Most often it's not. That explains better what I'm writing about. Now, I mean that. It explains better than what I'm writing about. Since my writing style is good, but not professional. I mean, you can't... My, the blog I wrote today is probably one of the best ones I've written at least in writing style. If you know you can write, but you're not a great author, you need to make sure that your blogs have additional content in them so your, your reader will suffer through your mediocre writing skills. Now, I'm not talking about typos and things like that. You have Grammarly to fix that stuff. I'm talking about... Uh, some people say the word what all the time or they use the same adjective or they always refer to everything in the first person. Those things are not good actually uh, to always do. and But people can read it but it doesn't read smoothly. So if your writing style, if you know that your writing is not awesome, you know you write well but people can understand it but it's not smooth then you have to give them a reason to suffer through your writing. <laughs> I don't really cover that in detail, but it's kind of mentioned in the article. There are several ways to do that. I use just putting in lots of information because 
most, I have a lot of readers. I mean, a lot of readers. I have more readers on my uh, Medium site than anywhere else. Thousands of followers. And most of them read my stuff. Every day I get engagements on that site, a lot. And they like it. I don't get much, I actually haven't had anything really derogatory. Uh, I have observations. Hey, why don't you try to do this? I have, uh, see, that's the one thing about being a blogger. Most bloggers, if they see that you're, you're, they, you know what you're doing and they know you're new at it. See, I've only been blogging since November 2017 on my publication. A year before that, I first learned how to blog. So it's only been a couple of years. But I know all the professional bloggers. As a matter of fact, two of my sites were actually a professional bloggers. I said, hey, let me help you get set up with your advertising and stuff. I've got these sites. I'm not really using them. They've got some traffic, you know, making a little bit of money off each one. But I'd much rather you have them because you, you can do something with them. I don't have time. That's lovely. That's great. As a matter of fact, if you find someone that you trust, you have to trust them. Uh, find someone that you trust that's a blogger and they have made extra sites. See, a lot of people will make a blogging site. Then they realize the content they have for that site is somewhat limited. They can't keep feeding fresh stuff. That's very important, by the way. Can't keep feeding fresh stuff to it. Hey, I'm almost done with my show. Can't keep uh, feeding fresh stuff to it. So they determine, hey, this traffic, I built up some site, but I don't have any more content. What should I do? So they find another blogger that they know, hey, this person deals with that type of content that's in that site. So I will just let them take over the site, which is a great thing to do. That's Harry Potter, by the way. Alrighty, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed listening to my little commentary about the blog article that you'll be able to read today. This is show 16 with IGTV with me. My name is Roger Karsling via Key Webco. So you go to IGTV, you search for Key Webco, and you can watch all of my shows. That's the way I actually prefer you do it, is actually watch it on IGTV, because then you get to watch my little created videos. I mean, these little animated videos and stuff in the middle, in between them. Alrighty, guys, well, I'm pulling out of the driveway. The dog is all excited. I've got my employee coming, and they keep knocking the phone, so I'm going to let you go. I hope you enjoyed my show today, and I look forward to speaking with everyone again tomorrow.